and hi everybody uh, thanks uh, for watching uh, this quick video on uh, vast resources stock uh, in front of us there is two hour candlestick showing the price movement of this stock and today as usual let's see if we can predict forecast the next step of this stock just using simple tools of technical analysis i will leave with you uh, the fundamental analysis uh, it means that uh, you should read a lot of news about this uh, company that it's mainly involved in mine businesses so they just uh, explore uh, new material properties mainly in uh, Zimbabwe and Romania so but please read a lot of fundamental analysis a lot of news before investing in this stock as well as in all other stocks always read news trying to compare th those news with uh, uh, technical analysis and hopefully both technical and fundamental analysis are on the same page that telling us to go long or vice versa to go short. Uh, so before getting into it, uh, uh, into nitty gritty, let's have a quick look at the uh, uh, this is a daily candlestick chart showing uh, uh, this is 2018 actually this is for 2019 june 2019 how it's it is behaving and as we can see it's a bearish behavior it went down since let's say to the half mid 2018 uh, it just dive, dived down it went down and uh, jump it up i think because of good news on the earning uh, report so just please if you want to know it just find the news you will find the news why jump it up and now uh, this is mainly fundamental analysis because this is very volatile and there's nothing to do with technical analysis uh, and now it's going down and we can use a little bit of fundamental analysis because it seems that this uh, op this level that is almost 0 0.095 cent or pound worked as support so going back to a two hours candlestick this is where we are uh two hours candlestick and this is my technical analysis interpretation and as we can see uh, as we can see we are in a bearish market behavior with the blue line is the major trend where this support level of almost 0.95 uh, 0.1 uh, cent or pound uh, worked as support or is working as support so the plan is as we are right now we cannot go long because it's a bearish market bearish trend so the idea would be to keep going down but but because this is a, a bearish behavior and the idea is always to invest in the uh, major trend uh, direction so it will it mean it means just go short but because uh, we got this support level that worked very well the idea might be uh, old for now and if in the next days the support level 0.1 or 0.95 would not but, but will not be broken in the next days uh, the idea is to hold because we, we might see a new rally uh, start so and if this new rally will start uh, what does it mean it means that uh, is the market will start going up again but going up it means going against the major trend so the major trend as we are right now it's bearish and we would like not to go long so when can we go long we can go long only when this tentative trend line is gonna be broken or to be honest with you guys when we see that the new peak will be for, will be uh, formed and this new peak has to be of course higher than the previous one so uh, to be honest with you the idea to go long is when only we got 0.3 uh, cent of, of uh, pound pound yes we, we can see that once we got this 0.3 cent of pound the idea would be to go long uh, because as we are right now the idea would be to keep going short based on the major trend because there are not a lot of signal of uh, or reversal signal that can that can tell us that the market is reverting is going up or it will go up or soon so in conclusion the plan is just hold for now and uh, we would like to go short as per major trend but it seems that this support level is working very well so the idea is that if the support level will not be broken the next day is just hold otherwise if the support will be broken next day perhaps there may be an opportunity to go short but i don't think that the support level will be broken so the idea as we are right now is just old uh, it's just old if you if you want you can go long it's too risky because uh, we are at the bottom of this kind of bearish channel behavior you might go you you can go long up to a level of let's say this is just a tentative 
15 maximum uh, cent or pound uh, you can go up to that point you can go long if you want but it's too risky because it means that we are investing against the trend uh, and only way that we can say okay let's go long we are gonna have a bearish uh, sorry bullish behavior is that that we are gonna have a new peak pick a new level higher than the previous one so that can be seen as signal of bullish of strength of the market as we are right now there are no signal of strength of this market so the idea would be to keep going down but hold wait and see if this support level will not will be broken in the next days if it will be broken the idea is to go down otherwise hold so this is my understanding of this stock thanks bye